Welcome guys and welcome back to another video in AutoCAD. Today we are going to be learning uh, the basic tools of AutoCAD. In the last video I taught you guys how to start up in AutoCAD by creating a new file and such. And some of the main tools like save and open files up top. Today we are going to be looking at how to are more like how to draw using the basic tools like line polymer, move all the stuff. Right. Uh, first up before you start drawing you should always check what your unit is you can go to unit by just typing unit in the command uh, or unit just in the workspace or you can type it below here in the command so you can see my cursor and click on it and your uh, drawing units tab will open here you can change it to whatever you want uh, yeah, let's go meters here shall we and yeah, you can see what kind of decimal type you're using, centimeter, how much precision you need, basically how long it's gonna go. And then just click on OK and it should fit. All right, so let's begin. The first tool we're gonna check out is this the line tool. And the line tool is pretty much a simple, straightforward tool where you just create lines. So if we start the point here, we can create a line to however distance and whatever angle we need. So for a distance, if I type in 20, it will be 20. In order to change the angle, just press on tab on your keyboard and it will show you the angle. As you can see, the line distance is now locked because you press tab. This way you can design a, a specify how much angle the line should be from that point. So I'm gonna uh, make this line a 30 degree angle and then yeah, just create a triangle basically. Get them. It's already 19, and then just intersect these. Right. As you can see, now we have a triangle. And this is how we use the line tool, basically. Uh, of course, there are other methods to like use the line tool and such. And there are some details like uh, snapping and such. And snapping is nothing but just if you see here, it's now like showing a green line or green box showing that point. So that is what we call snapping. It basically snaps to that point so that way you don't have to worry. So yeah, so snapping from that line to this line since that's already a line that we are not created. <laughs> and if you want to create more snaps like middle of the so, uh, line or such, Turn on these settings below here. It basically turns on the settings where you need to mm, like snap on the line. Like if you want to snap on the middle line, uh, do you want it to be angular or uh, stuff like that? Um, the other thing is ortho. Ortho just makes it so you to uh, you can just create DC DC like uh, drawings like squares and stuff if you need it. Auto tool is pretty much useful for that, uh, very useful for that. But right now, you see, if you see, it only does 90 degree and 180 degree. In order to change it, if you go down here, you can select whichever angles you want to show on there. So, if I'm working with 15, 30 angles, I can just choose this and go 15, 30 in auto mode. Basically are more like in increments of five if you can see it's actually like started there a little it's just showing it's just showing increments of five and everything <clears throat> so yeah that's the use of an ortho tool and you can turn it on by pressing f8 on your keyboard if you have a laptop remember to press the function key so turn it on or off Right, so that's the line tool for you. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The next tool we're going to be looking at is the polyline tool. Polyline is basically like another line tool. Only difference is if you come down here, you can change it into an arc midway and create an arc, thereby connecting it as a singular line. Um, yeah. Let's just move these lines up. Uh, as you can see, I created a polyline in closer. So basically what you do is just go to polyline, 
click on the line so it's in line mode right now and if you need to create an all you can go down here in the comment uh, just uh, yeah and just click on it and there you go you have arcs you can also change these arcs in here if you need it yeah that is what I'm trying to play around with so that's basically the polyline tool and next up is the circle circle is pretty straightforward simple and i'm pretty sure most of you know it just creates a circle and you can uh, either give it a diameter or a radius right now it's in the radius mode if you want to change it to a diameter just click on diameter here and now it's in diameter mode i'm going to give it 15 meters of diameter and there you go it's done circle also has certain options like two point where it connects between two points like if i want a circle between this center and this center i can create a circle in between these two and three point is the same thing tan tan radius is for between two lines so in case i draw a uh, uh, right angle line like this i can just click on tan tan radius click on this and this and then i can say a radius of 10 and there you go you have a circle between two tans <clears throat> yes so this is basically the basics of the circle command and our command is same as the polyline basically it creates arcs between two points whatever two points you wish for So, arc also has such different types. It's pretty straightforward if you see it. It's like three points, so you need three points to create an arc. You can do a start end and a radius, start end and direction, start end angle. This gives you the angle. So, I'm just going to go start end and radius. So, let's see. I want to create an arc from here to here with an angle of, uh, with a radius of maybe let's give it a 20. Inch. And there you go. You have an arc. So basically this is the hard tool. Pretty straightforward. It's really easy to use. It should be fine. And this is the rectangle and polygon tool. Rectangle tool is just a basic rectangle. You can just go tabbing changes your width and height. And you can create a rectangle like that. Polygon tool is pretty much the same too. Uh, polygon you can change the sides by clicking on the command and like typing what uh, how many sides you need. Let's say you need 10 sides plus enter and then specify the center point and there you go. You have a polygon with 10 points. Hmm. So this is the polygon tool. Like the same, maybe also have different other tools like uh, elliptical tool, which like helps you create ellipse. Like if you can see it, we can create ellipse like that. And we can like do partial ellipse as well if you need it. And then that and a starting angle here and a partial ellipse. You can create stuff like that. And edge is nothing but just filling up a enclosure with a pattern or a texture. As you can see, this uh, previous what kind of texture you want, what kind of thing you want to see. Uh, textures you can select from here and that's pretty much it uh, you can select whatever texture you want and it will change according to that click on it and there you go that's your hash you can just close it and done okay guys hopefully this was informational and helpful in any way so you can you guys get a basic idea of what those tools are and how you can use them and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you for watching. If you want to obtain a completion certificate, please click the link to our site. Sign up and choose the course level. It is mandatory to watch all the videos and finish the corresponding quiz within the time limit to unlock the final quiz. Get you course completion certificate after completing the final quiz of that level. Happy learning!